I do feel like loyalty and trust is important. Obviously, that's the most important thing. But like when you first meet someone, you really don't know someone's true self for like eight months. Like, you guys, I dated someone for a whole year and like I really, the girl I met was not the girl I broke up. We broke up, like, but you know what I'm saying? So yeah, if somebody comes to you, I mean, if I come to you and I say, hey, like this person makes me uncomfortable, what do you do? One of the one of the great answers I've gotten is immediately stop hanging out with them or stop communicating with them if it makes you uncomfortable, no questions asked. I really liked that answer because I'm not insecure. So if I'm speaking up about something, there must be something fishy going on. And not on my partner's side because that would be on them, but on like their side. And why would I want my, my partner being friends with somebody who it's gonna be out doing that. Like, no motherfucking thank you. Um, I'm trying to think of some more. I've asked these actually pretty recently, so I'm trying to think. Um, what's another one? Um, oh yeah. Um, how they react to some of my social media posts because some of my posts I make income off of if I start getting weird texts about from them about that shit I'm be like well clearly you think social media is real life and you're not really dating me because what the fuck like if you're gonna go off my post on social media then we're not even getting to know each other because I'm giving you my time I'm on the phone with you I'm texting you I'm letting you know about me and if you're gonna base me off my social media after I told you from the jump it's relatable then we're not gonna work Also, it's all about like, you, okay, a big thing, you gotta ask them why the, their ex and them broke up. Ask them. Because if they stumble the story up or mess it up, they're lying. And if they admit what they've done, that's a sign of growth, but that's also like, damn, what if they do that to you? Hey, Jordan. But yeah, so I feel like I'm giving advice to how to know if someone's into you or if you should keep talking to someone or if someone's the one for you. Um, but me, I take someone serious right away if I think that the energy is matched. And if I, I end up being wrong, then I'm wrong. Like, that's what people don't understand. Like, give someone the, your full chance. Take them serious. Give them a chance. And if you end up being wrong, you're wrong and you move forward because you did nothing wrong. They're in the wrong because you didn't lie. You didn't treat them bad. They treated you bad. So really, like, yes, you might get hurt. But, like, nothing can go wrong if, like, you're putting your all and being honest and loving. Like, you might get hurt, but, like, they're the ones that would be lying and hurting you. You know what I'm saying? So don't be scared to love. Just go into it. If you do your research, you do your research. If you don't, that's on you. But I do my research. And also, some women just have crazy exes. Like, that's just a fact. Like, I know everyone always says, like, well, if they said their ex is crazy, they're lying, it's probably they made them crazy. No, some people have fucking crazy exes. Like, actual crazy exes, and they can't do anything about it. Also, when I ask them certain questions about their past life, I always make them, like, prove what they're saying. Like, if, they're, if they go, oh, she cheated on me, I go, show me. Show me what happened, show me screenshots, show me. Because I want to know. <laughs> Plus, we're just getting to meet, we're just meeting each other, so it's not like I'm, like, I'm asking kind of as a friend, like, what happened? You know, especially if it's fresh, you gotta like, some people might think that's toxic, but I don't think it is. I don't know. I've just learned how to do this stuff and it actually works, you guys. Like it cuts off all the toxic people that I could be getting to know that I don't get to know. Um, what's another thing I'm trying to think? Oh, if they say they don't like one of my friends. Okay, why? Tell me a reason. Oh, because this, that third. Okay, that's not valid. Oh, I don't like one of your friends because this, that, the third. Okay, I'll see your perspective. But they were in my life before you were, so I'm gonna have to reconsider, like I'm gonna have to view the situation from a different perspective. Now if we're dating and we're together, like seriously, I'll consider your opinion because some of my friends would be weird. Um, a big red flag too is how they treat their family. This is what you gotta do, you ready? I'm about to give you guys big advice. 
This is what you do, ready? Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, thank you. I'm sorry, I was zoned out, thank you. Um, thank you, Queen Nikki. Another thing is, have your person, have, have the person you're talking to see a, okay, huh. I don't know how they, okay, if they have family, like a little kid in the family, like secretly watch how they interact with that kid. Watch how they interact with babies. Watch how they interact with pets. Watch how they interact with their grandma. Watch how they interact with their parents. Now, some people have sketchy relationship with their parents because their parents are crazy. That's the difference. But how they treat their granny and how they treat their little cousins or their siblings and their pets, clock it. Oh my, I can't believe I'm saying that. But that's a big deal. Like if somebody's like very sweet and like, like they don't even know they're being watched. If you're just peeping shit, like, like in their natural state, that's a good sign. Um, clock that T. Um, if every time they don't answer, they give you a really lengthy excuse that you didn't need, that you, you weren't even concerned they didn't answer because we all have lives, and they start to give you all these excuses like, oh, man, I'm so sorry I was doing this and this and this, that's a little fishy. Like, that's a little, that's a little fishy. Like, you don't need all those ex I mean, some people go through toxic relationships where they feel like they have to make, like, excuses, but I don't know. I feel like that specific situation, like, if they're being all defensive and, like, all these, like, things, like, that's, like, defense. I don't know. My green flags. Oh, thank you, Lex. Love you. My green flags. Um, I've never cheated on anyone. <laughs> thank you. I've never cheated on anyone. I've never lied in a relationship. Even a white lie. Can't do it. Um, I'm too open. I say things I don't even need to say just because I want them to know everything.